and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to my video. Now tonight, it's very hot so it's cooled down a bit tonight. 29 degrees, woo, I love it. It's just very, very hot. Anyway, today we are going to go through these, which is Code, C-O-D-E. It's a new brand. They haven't got many products, so I've bought what they've got, except the lip liner. And if you want to see what they are, etc etc me trying them on my little beady eyes carry on watching and see you soon now then firstly um I don't know which I bought first, really. Um, but they're in Beauty Bay for you UK people there. And they've also got their own website, which they do do some great deals. Um, I know Lib20, L-I-B-20, used to be a code for 20% off. If it is, it, I don't know. It could still work. Um, but this is a pre-mascara lash plumper. Lash plumper. Now, I understand... Excuse my hair. Hmm. I understand um, a lash primer, but a lash, lash plumper intrigues me. Um, now I've got my spectacles on so I can read all this. It's on blue background. How silly is this? But anyway, it says here 95% found FFL and VLM used together. Give the appearance of longer, thicker and more defined lashes. And then it says... Right, FFL upgrades your lashes before you apply your mascara. There's 12 mils. It lasts 12 months. And this is what they're saying would work. There's your lashes with a bit of mascara. And there's the lashes after using this. So that intrigued me because going cruelty free, I used to love their, oh, what was it? Their real benefits, their real lash primer. I used to always use it. I've used it for two years. Going cruelty free, out it went. So this is the, how the box is. Um, and it gets in like that. And then you pull this little thing. And there is... Come open. Oh, and there it is. Look, doesn't that look delightful? Poo on a stick. Poo on a stick. But we shall give that a go. I hope that works. These, the prices and everything, and links will all be down below. Um, if I can find a different code for you, I will link that in the description below. My hair is doing my nutting. There we go. Hence the ears are on. Trying to keep it out of the way. Um, but I'll link it down below. But there's the lash primer. Now, they do two different sizes of their mascara um, in black. So if you wanted brown black, not a chance. Um, but what does it say about this? Silly cow. That's the lip plumper. Here's the mascara. I got the teeny weeny one. And apparently there's the before and after. Um, again, it's VLM code. 100% VL, VLM. I don't know what VLM is. Maybe I should have looked. Uh, da -da -da -da, sexy and rejuvenated lashes. Sounds good. Um, what am I doing? Right. For length, thickness, volume, separation and curl. Wow. Mm -hmm. No smudges, clumps or flakes. That's good, good. Build your look up from day to night. So it's saying you can plump it up a bit later. Good for those after office nights out. Tear proof for those emotional mo. Hey, hey, brilliant. Kind to lashes with vitamins and waxes. Waxes. I hope I don't get hay fever, itchy eyes from it. Let's see. Paraben-free paraben code VLM is not tested on... Oh, yeah, they are cruelty-free, by the way. 
yeah of course otherwise we wouldn't be doing this uh, little but anyway um this one was 10 pound this little teeny one here and the larger size is 20 pound now on the website which intrigued me but it's too late to go and buy it again um i'm trying to get this video done before i go away for a week but apparently everyone was saying the little one was better formula than the big one so i don't mind spending 10 pound instead of 20 but we shall see and the wand on this is just a nice little one like that oh. <laughs> And you do get right to the bottom. Good, good, good. Right, so there we are. And the next one is a lip plumper. Now, this, I do believe I've got on at the moment. I've got the little uh, buxom one, which gives you that peppermint tingling. How sexy is that? Look at this. This is like, they're not, but this is like the soft, well, like that got code lip intense plumper blah, blah, what's it got what white on green why yeah intense and it does tingle plump so um bear with back to back um let's have a look oh it's like a pinky on a normal dofy oh Another one I could eat. It just smells like those beautiful imperial mint, hard little round. Well, it tastes like them as well. Anyway, let's continue. Quite a good colour, isn't it? Mm. So it's like the books and one. So it's not. Oh, it is tingling. Mm. Take a look at my lips. Mm. It's. It's not. It's like the books and one. I was going to say it's not really gloopy and sticky, and it doesn't annoy me being on my lips. Lip glosses annoy me, and when they're going to do that stringy thing, nah. Oh, imperial mint. So there you go and it is tingling but it's not uncomfortable i don't mind it anyway it feels like you've got fresh mouth like you've just brushed your teeth again so let's wang off my glasses i'm sorry that there might be a little yeah there we go look because this has been on all day i've been testing this foundation um it's the number seven one it was the first day mm, been on a long time so let's go in with the plumper it really does look like I'm sorry, but it does look like poop on a stick. But anyway, let's go in. I have absolutely nothing on my eyes. Not even any uh, eyeshadow. So we will do one with the plumper mascara. What is that? Go away. Oh, those little black flies. How delightful. <laughs> Actually, this is coating the lashes. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But this is coating the lash. Oh, my God. It is coating the lashes. I don't know if you can see that because it is light coloured. So we'll do one like that and let it dry and we'll just use the mascara on this side and we'll see what is the difference. Now this is more of a smaller, nicer doofy and let's see what this one's like. got any eyeshadow on you think don't mess up don't don't touch i've got that going through my head i've got lashes i'm just going to spin spin the brush around i 
I don't know if this is because it's the small head or the formula, but there we go. There it is, just one coat. I'm quite impressed with that. Mm. So we'll dunk in, swiggle around, never go with your mascaras, just in, swiggle around. Because if you go in and out and in and out, they uh, they do tend to get air and bacteria, more air and bacteria in there. So there it is on its own one coat. Let's see what it looks like with the plumper primer under. lashes I think I have found my prime look at them look at the difference between them I hope you can see this <gasps> now I don't know if this is the mascara or with let me get rid of this black Disgusting, go away, off you pop ball. I don't know if this is the primer, as it did feel really, really nice when it went on, but look at my lashes compared to my, and it's even lifted, it has lifted, it has given me a bit of volume, that's just one application. Right, what do I want to do? I want to wipe this off and put it on and try it with a different, uh, different, a different mascara because the bear with look at the difference right 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 so we're going to use this um who on the stick on this side you can actually see it layer I don't know if you can you can actually see it coating your lashes with a very light mascara especially on the bottom ones because I can't normally see or get hold of my bottom ones Right, there we go, we'll leave that to dry. I don't know if you leave it to dry, but I just thought I'll leave it to dry. And we'll put a second coat on this with the Code Mascara. <sighs> and let's see what happens. Does it clump? It says you can reapply, didn't it? I'm speechless. Is it the mascara? Or is it the... I've got lashes. <gasps> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it and put another third layer on. Right, they were telling the truth. Does it clump or is that me? Hmm. Look at that. Look. Ba, 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 ba. I'm speechless. Was it the primer? My favourite mascara. Let's use my baby gifted. Tart gifted. That's what I normally use. I'm not going to use VE Cosmetics because that is brilliant with the fibres. And I'm not going to use the um, Body Shop Lash Hero because that's a good one with the fibres. Get in there. I'm going to just use a plain old gifted by Tart. <clears throat> I've got the small one here. I don't know if you know, there's the brush. You must have seen it. If you've seen some of my videos, you must have seen this mascara. So let's go in. Now, 
Now this mascara normally gives me length, but not a lot of um, volume. Um, so let's just see. It picks up every single lash of mine normally. Oh, oh, it's not doing the bottom ones. Why ain't it doing the bottom ones? Have I wiped it clean? <laughs> Looking at them both, I think, do you, they're both very, very, very similar. But let's just go in with a second coat of the Gifted. Um, these eyelashes do look a lot thicker, but we had a second coat. I think it's the primer. I honestly think that primer is well worth the £20 for def. <sighs> yes. Right, let's go in. Um, right. Second coat, this one seems to be uh, clumping and looking a bit dry where this looks really, 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 really good. Um, that's probably because this one I don't normally, um, what is that in my eye? Go away. It's better. I don't normally double coat it because I don't need to, but, um, mm. Hmm. Let's do a third coat. Come on, let's be greedy and do a third coat. Because apparently you can layer this. Now, apparently the Too Faced one you can also layer. Not the waterproof, apparently, but the other one you can. Right, the more you layer this, the more false lash your lashes look. And is it starting to clump? Let's just see if I can get rid of that. Right, look. The more it's going into uh, a false lash look. But my lower lash, <laughs> lash line looks fab. Right. My opinion, this mascara is really good. And third application is looking a little false lashy, splitting apart, separation, sort of sticky up. You know what I mean? False lash looking. But on a first application, it was really good. On second application, it was really, really good. Third, I think I just went a bit over TT, but they don't look bad. Um, with two lots of the gifted, we're not doing a gifted review, but it started to clump. There we go. Um, now, whether the larger one is any different, I don't know. I might try this and go through some others and then get the larger one and try it in a first impressions three coats and see if it's any different. But a lot of people on the site are saying the little one is a lot better than the big one. The primer is fantastic. It's got to be the primer. I don't get lashes like this normally without two or three coats. Um, I love the primer, even though it does look a bit like poop on a stick. Brown. I think it's a brown colour. It just puts everybody off, doesn't it? But I do like it. I like it a lot. I am going to continue to use this with lots of different mascaras. Uh, I may even use it with the fibre ones and see what lashes I get then. But this is fantastic. The lip plumper. Mm. Mm. I honestly do think, one, it's a nice pink shade so you don't have to put lipstick on if you don't want to. I do like that. Um, I've lost him. There he is. I do like that. Plumping, I think it has. I think it has. Look at the bottom lip. What do you think? Can you guys see? The tingling's nearly gone, apart from at the top. I really do like this as well. So all in all, I think this is £20 as well. I think that's £20. And I think... Where you gone? Oh, there you are. 
and this was 10 but the main the the, the full size is 20 pounds so it's it's free delivery so you don't have to pay for it to get delivered and there is a code i'm sure there's a code i'll have a look if there's a code for code um but my assumptions on all this my review is these two are fantastic i am going to continue using this i have found a replacement for the benefit um I forgot what it's called they're real this i'm going to keep going i like the mascara i like you can layer it and it looks really really nice i'll just have to keep trying it and see if it's any better than any of the others um but these two i will use this is lovely. You could keep it in your handbag and think, oh, my lipstick looks a bit rubbish and put it on. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there will be links down below. And I'm really happy I found a replacement. Ah, really, really happy. Yes. Right. So thank you for watching. Um, and I shall see you in my next review, tutorial, whatever. See you again.